Assalamu alaikum guys, Ifan back again with another video and in this video we will be looking at advanced filter okay what we will be doing is using advanced filter to filter rows with the list of do not contain uh, criteria what that means is we will be filtering out rows uh, depending on uh, they not containing a certain text okay so that's what we will be looking at in this uh, video and uh, we will be doing uh, three different variations of the same concept all right so uh, let's get started what i have here is a sheet that we have similar to what we have been using earlier this is a company that uh, supplies uh, products to uh, pizza uh, you know pizza uh, parlors and restaurants in uh, in you know in the, in the new york state area and this is uh, the customers uh, the the revenue the salesperson sales area and the dealer they are supplying to okay now what we need to do is we need to filter this list to eliminate any salespersons whose name contains read or whose name contains b r a okay now let's see how we were we would be doing that so the first thing what we need to do is uh, this is the column that we are going to be filtering on and they are basically two criteria uh, it should not contain read and it should not contain b r a okay so i'm just going to pick this uh, heading because we do need the heading in this uh, case and uh, i'm just going to copy paste here just to make sure everything is exactly the same because these headings need to match exactly okay now in excel whenever you want to say do not equal you put a greater than or equal to sign okay oh, sorry greater than less than sign now we're going to be using that uh, and uh, setting up the filter okay now what we're trying to do is it does not contain read okay read is first of all now what we need to do if we just leave it as that it would not pick this up because it has John in front of it. Okay, this would mean read should be the only word in this uh, column. So the way we uh, work around that is we put an asterisk at the beginning and an asterisk at the end. What that means is anything that you know has anything that precedes read, anything that follows read, grab those and filter those out. Okay, so that's one um, criteria the other was it should not contain b r a now if you notice uh, it has a john and a space before the b r a and has d l e y after the b r a so the b r a word uh, the three letters b r a is in the middle of the, the last name bradley and um, so we what we need to do is we need to follow the same concept over here so we do uh, less than greater than asterisk b r a now that is uh, case insensitive okay now we have got a two conditions it should not contain read and it should not contain b r a okay now we've got uh, you know the the criteria set up for the um, advanced filter so now let's go ahead and actually apply the advanced filter in this portion here now like I said, we'll be doing three variations of the same. Now, uh, what we'll do is in, when we uh, apply the advanced filter, this list would get filtered right here. Now, in the second version, the second flavor that we'll be showing you, I will be filtering it and the system will be filtering it and we'll be copying the filter, the filtered items over here, leaving the originals the way they are. Okay. Now, in order to go to the uh, advanced filter, go to data and that's where your advanced filter is just click anywhere in this table because it needs to pick up the whole table click on advanced and you notice how there's a dotted line around that means it has figured out that this is the table that you want to filter and it gives you the the list range from a1 to f42 9 number 42 okay now what is the criteria range that's where the criteria is okay so we will 
select that criteria range. Now, what we are doing is we are filtering it right here. In the second flavor, we'll use this copy to another location option. Okay. And you click on OK. And you see what happened? Uh, Bradley did not get filtered out. Okay. There are reason. Because the read got filtered out because you had put that asterisk after the read. Okay. Bradley did not get filtered out because there was a D L E Y after the B R A. Now, if I were to do this and put an asterisk now, okay, and if you apply the advanced filter, okay, and let's see what happens. Now, only John Lewis should be left behind. There you go. Now, it's able to figure out that anything before the BRA and anything after the BRA needs to be filtered out. Now, you only have John Lewis. Who did not, whose name did not contain BRA and did not contain uh, read R -E -E -D. So that was how you would do a advanced filter to filter out things that you do not want uh, and the, apply the filter right here. Okay. Now let's see how we would do that by making a copy. Let's go to the next sheet. Okay. Now I'm just going to copy the uh, criteria here, so I don't have to do it again. I'm just going to copy here and paste it over here. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll apply, click anywhere on this table, go to the advanced filter option, and this time what we'll do is we'll actually select the copy option. So click on advanced. So this whole table got selected. Okay, now the criteria range is h1 to i2 okay now what we'll do is in this case we will use this copy to another location option so you take that you know click on that this ready button and now you see how this becomes light now you actually can type in here now this what you will do is you will put in the reference of the cell where you want the copy to go to okay so let's say m1 is where we want the copy to go to once the filtering is done once we get rid of the reads and any name it, it has bra in it and we click on ok and that should only make a copy of this table bring it over here and only have the john lewis uh, rows in it okay click on ok and there you go and just gonna uh, resize the columns so you can see if the original is left the way it is over here the original got uh, filtered out. In this case, the original is left the way it is. We just made a filtered copy of this. And now over here, we are we only uh, seeing John Lewis uh, records. That's because Reed got filtered out. Uh, John Reed got filtered out. Reed Richards uh, got filtered out. And uh, John Bradley got filtered out. Okay. So we were only left with John Lewis, right? So that's the second flavor. The first flavor was you had filtered right here. The second one was you made a filter, you did the filtering and you made a copy here, left the original the way it is. In this case, the original got filtered, okay? Now, there's a third way of doing this and this is the traditional way of doing it. Let's see how you would do that. Uh, what we'll do is we will create a helper column okay now what we need to do is we need to search for these two uh, strings uh, read and bradley okay we need to see if those are in there or not okay so, so oops search see how once you start typing Excel suggests what the whole function is. So you can double click here and gives you a, a, a prompt. What, you know, telling you how to use this function. So search, the first parameter will be find text. What text are you looking for? Uh, within text, within which text are you looking for? And the start number, which column number you want to start at. Uh, we will start at default at, at, at the first column. Okay. Uh, first, uh, yeah, first column of each, first letter, uh, not column, in fact, 
first uh, character of this column okay so what we are looking for is read okay within which text within this uh, cell here in close bracket now if you notice it, it it gives you a start number this is optional if you want the searching to start from you know a few characters to the uh, to the right you can put the number we want the searching to start from the first character so we leave that out or we can put one in there hit enter okay it did not find that okay now if i were to copy and paste this format down now you see it says read is the sixth character read is at this character number six because john is four characters and then the space is five and read is the sixth place so on the sixth character it finds it finds a match here read richards that's the first one so uh, it that's why you get a one okay. now uh, let's add search search what within this cell here and close back okay. now you see uh, what will happen is gives you an error now we need to take care of that error okay the way we do that is we can do an if error and we can do an if error here okay now wherever it did not find read r double -E -D or b r a it gives you a zero whenever it finds it it gives you the location where it found it okay now uh, if you see in this case the john is like i said john is the fifth uh, four characters long and the space is fifth so b starts from the sixth position that's why you see six here similarly john is uh, uh, four characters plus one space is five and sixth character is where he finds read okay so now what we do is we uh, we can just apply a regular filter okay we don't need the uh, need to go to advanced filter and put it down and wherever we see a zero that means it was not found so anything less than anything not zero you uncheck it gives you uh, the list which does not contain what you what you want to filter out okay but that's not a very easy good way to do that because every time uh, you have when you have a lot of different text uh, these numbers would change okay and so when you pull uh, put, put a, a filter on it so you'll have uh, you know you can have many options here okay uh, let me uh, show you in case uh, let's change this here let's put a uh, let Johnson read okay so now all of a sudden this is shows nine and if you go to filter so you have to filter out one nine six and nine so every time if you have a lot of text you have a lot, a lot of uh, uh, options that you have to uncheck so let's change this let's put an if outside it if not equal to zero Found, not found. Oops, sorry. Hang on a second. If it's not equal to zero, found not found okay and so 
here what we're doing is if this gives you a zero that means this the string that you were searching for was found uh, if uh, it was not found it gives you a zero so if it's not a zero then you say you know we found such the string that we want to filter out it was found and wherever it's a zero just type it shows up as not found and if you just copy the formula down now all you have to do is filter one option there's only one filter found that you have to uncheck you don't have to check one and six and nine okay and you click on okay and there you go uh, so in this case you use the helper column and the formula to filter out the text that you did not want in this uh, these two examples we use the advanced uh, filter this is just another uh, a bonus thing that i showed you how to do it uh, using a formula right that's it uh, for this video if you like this video please kindly give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like this please subscribe thank you